All right, welcome into Riding Shock with Tommy Mack. I'm your host, Tom McManus, and I'm standing in the middle of the showroom at Fields Cadillac, our title sponsor. Great to have them on board. They're at the corner of Blanding Boulevard and I-295. We're going to take a ride in this beautiful electronic vehicle, the Lyric, all throughout town. I said we because each and every week we're going to have a celebrity guest sitting in the passenger seat. We're going to talk about life, talk about career, talk about Jacksonville, maybe even throw a little Jaguar talk in there as well. We'll do it every time. Here from Fields Cadillac and our first guest is the legend from Englewood High School, Brett Myers, joins me here on Ride Shock. And what's How's up, going, man? How we good doing, to buddy? see you. Good to How's see life? You. It's good, man. Uh, you're good friends with these guys here at Fields. Oh, yeah. you got a couple of their vehicles. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Jim's a great guy. They do a good job here and take care of their guys and yeah. uh, always come by and say hi even when I'm just driving by. That's right. Well, we got a lot to talk about, man. Your career, life, everything that's going on. So yeah. why don't we go for a ride? You ready? I got shotgun. All right, let's go, baby. There you go. Get that big ass. You gotta go ass first. Mm. <laughs> that is too good. All right, riding shotgun with Tommy Mack. My guest, Brett Meyer, is here in the shotgun seat. What's up, Brett? Great How to have you. Yeah, thanks for having it's me. It's awesome, man. I've interviewed you before, so it's not like we haven't known each other for oh, a while, yeah. but I always enjoy it, brother. I yeah. really do. It's good times. Absolutely. Guys so, from two different sports can talk no sports doubt. Both there's some ways. Listen, there's some similarities in it, oh, you know? Yeah. One thing I'd like to know, like you guys, one thing about you baseball pitchers, um, you kind of take matters into your own hands. Like, if guy beams your guy, you got to go hit him, don't you? <laughs> well, we're I mean, not is technically that the... supposed to talk about that. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's like hockey, but, right? The, yeah. the enforcer goes, I mean, you take a shot at my score, I'm going to go fight you. I would say not as much anymore in today's game. You don't see that much okay. because of, um, I, I couldn't tell you why. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I, the only brawl I got into was in AAA, and it was actually with Drew Henson. Um, oh, no kidding, the yeah, quarterback. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, uh they were hitting our guys, and our manager, I called him like Yosemite Sam because he was about that tall. His name was Mark Bombard. He was an awesome guy, man. And he would walk around, yeah, yeah, and then right. like, he's like, you hit that next guy immediately. He hit our guy. So he was kind of like telling me to do it. And I'm like, I got it. I got it. You know, right. like, like, I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah. So I threw it one guy. I missed him, and it shouldn't have been around his head, but it was because, like, when I tried to hit a guy, yeah. I would just try to throw it as hard as I could So I wanted because I didn't want him to just take it and then, like, brush it off. Right. I wanted him to remember my name right. for a while. Yeah, you know, yeah, after yeah. That. Make you and, your mark. Uh, so, and, uh, so then I ended up, they ended up hitting another one of our guys, and, and then Henson was chopping it up and talking trash across the field, and I told him he was next, but little did I know he was literally next up. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, hey, great. I'm a man of my word. I had to yeah. go do it, you know. Oh, so, wow. uh, so wow. he charged he charged me and and thinking, did he really? Yeah. So thinking about football stuff and and okay. playing and everything. My dad always told me because he played football a lot. Yeah. He's like, hit him low. Okay. You know? So that's the first thing I thought. So I like hit him tackle him like right. low. Yeah. yeah. So I thought I went for his knees. I picked him up. Yeah. And as I was turning that way, my catcher came over top, hit me right in the nose with his face mask. Oh. Blew my nose up. So. Oh. They pulled me out by my feet, and I got blood running all down my face and everything. And I'm oh. taking my jersey off, swinging it around like I'd just been in a like bar yeah, brawl yeah, fight. And, and bar fight, like, yeah. Like I was fine, but uh, yeah. but um, I had to sleep with uh, some ice. No tampons up my nose. Oh, that night. Stop <laughs> I, I man, I, I, I'm glad I don't have a picture of that. But that was that could have been. Did you cut the strings off at least? Yeah, of yeah, course, okay, of course, okay. of course, I did. I That's just, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you got to stop the bleeding somehow. Yeah, right? I mean, especially in the nose, yeah, that thing will go was, forever. Uh, you know, next day you 
come in, you look like you've been in a boxing match, of right. course, and yeah. he didn't even hit me. Right. That was the worst part about it. Right. So I had to go look like he just whipped my ass on the field. Right. And he didn't even get a good shot on me. That is too funny. Yeah. That is too yes. funny. Now, what about chin music? Is that a real thing? Guy uh, crowding the plate, you got to, like, you know, make sure he backs off. Uh, so I grew up in old school kay. baseball because my favorite pitchers were Roger Clemens, Nolan Ryan, obviously Bob Gibson and those guys. But uh, And they pitched with, you know, aggression and and, um, and just that's my plate type mm-hmm. of thing. So, mm-hmm. so uh, obviously you don't want to just hurt hurt guys. Right. Um, and you know, but right. if you need to send a message, and and if they're diving out over the plate or something like yeah. that, then yeah, you got to pound the pound the ball in. And it's not, I would, I like we're the best at what we do when yep. we did it, you know, and, right. and when, or when I did it, like you could basically hit a gnat's ass if you wanted to, because right. you practice it and you got that really good at it. <laughs> right. I mean, just look at some of the greats. I mean, I made a lot more mistakes than those guys did. Trust me. I mean, right. just look at ERAs and it wasn't. I was good, but not that good. Okay. And um, <clears throat> so you can kind of place the ball where you want, and then guys get comfortable in the box. And you don't you want okay. them to be uncomfortable in the box because, you know, they, they if they're hunting a pitch away, it's a chess game. They're hunting and hunting. You got to stand them back up, and make that outside pitch look a little bit further off, even though it's a strike. Okay. So are you watching a lot of film? When like of your the batters that you're going to go against that that uh, game, you guys watch film on that stuff. I oh yeah, there's okay. there was plenty of it, and they're watching it on me of my tendencies and stuff. So it's always in the back of your head, man. Watching right. like you're like, oh man, like what did this guy do off of this guy? How am I going to attack this guy instead of? Sometimes you can overdo that, and you mm-hmm. have to basically just say, all right, what's my best stuff today? I'm going to stick with that until okay. until they're until they show me that was their plan all along, and then I'll make. I don't. The horns work on these. I don't know. That that didn't work very well. We're gonna have to get that horn scary, game going. Man. <laughs> He's taking his time making that turn. That's right. We don't want to get up on him too much. All right, take us back to uh, to Inglewood. I, I read where you and Rasheen Mathis were teammates. Oh yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. She's so, such a great, player. great uh, guy too. Yeah, I love, awesome. love that guy. Awesome. I knew his mama and yeah, great. Like that. Yeah, so Jerry all of them. Great people. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, totally. So we uh, basically, you know, I went. I ended up going to high school there my sophomore year okay um and so i'd known him he played tried out for baseball like he was a good athlete could play oh, baseball yeah. too and yeah and he uh basically was like our base dealer and stuff like that he played left-handed and everything okay. so so uh we became good friends and then my our senior year we both got athlete of the year at inglewood which uh cool. i think they made a pretty good choice we both played at the professional Hell level yeah. at our sports you know absolutely but, but um, yeah, but I don't. Rasheen played more sports than I did at the school. So I mean, I was mainly focused on baseball. Uh, baseball. Yeah, I mean, I did the swim team because it was the off yeah, season and stuff. So yeah. So I did some stuff like that. But um, he he was basketball, baseball, football. He could do it all. He was. When did you know, uh, Brett, that you had a career, that you had a future as a pitcher? Like, when did it all? come together for you well you, you I mean obviously you got drafted at, you know right out of high school right. so you, it came you know together then but when was it that you're like okay you know what this, um, is, this is gonna be a career for me so I know this is gonna sound cliche with like what every kid would say but <clears throat> excuse me but when I was seven my dad asked me a question or well basically he made a statement and um <clears throat> I told him, I was like, that's what I want to do. We were watching the Braves play. Yeah. And forget it. And I yeah. said, that's what I want to do when I get older. And he says, well, one in a million make it. And I said, well, why can't I be that one? That's right. Like that, but that was my Hell mentality. Yeah. So yeah. I just worked my tail off to that because I knew that's what I wanted to do and get yeah. better. And, and a lot of work went into it, and and, um, and it worked out. But I really didn't even want to pitch. I never wanted to pitch. I right. wanted to hit. I loved hitting. Were you a <clears> hitter? Uh, yeah, in high school, I... I actually didn't even make All American as a pitcher. I made All American as a hitter, as, oh, a, no as, kidding. A, as a first baseman. <laughs> wow! Yeah. So, uh, cool. and on a list with a bunch of first rounders, like the national. Yeah. Thing, I, um, so That's yeah. So badass. Yeah, and I. <clears throat> I you threw ninety eight in high school, didn't you? Ninety eight yeah, miles per hour. I, I never saw the radar because we. I don't even know if it might have been too old to pick that up. At right. <laughs> no, but um. Right. That's what I was told, and um, so yeah, I mean, obviously, I. had throw hard enough to for them to draft me in, in yeah. the top rounds same with today but now it's like everybody throws a hundred right you know it's crazy right. and I think I'm not sure if that's why all the injuries are happening or whatever but but um with Tommy yep. John's going up right but 
Uh, now, is it true? And I don't mean to cut you off. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, no. Is it true? Because you hear these rumors, like these kids. They're I don't know what age, but they're getting the Tommy John surgery because right. it tightens everything up and makes you even throw it so faster. Is I, that? W- I wouldn't say it's that. So okay. Uh, so basically, when your elbow goes out, from what I was told my trainers it means you got a weak shoulder so the only thing you can do for a tommy john surgery is when you can start doing everything is strengthen your shoulder you can't strengthen the ligament around got gotcha. you right i right. mean not saying they i mean they take the ligament out of your hand right here okay so it's the same ligament there and then you got two in your leg oh so okay. you can have it a bunch of times but yeah. it's I not recommended obviously i mean at some point you yeah. call it quits but it, is, isn't it funny when you play sports <laughs> long enough you couldn't be an orthopedic doctor but you could talk about a lot of injuries because you either had them saw them well, learned about them yeah. and you can literally like be like yeah yep. take it out of my wrist yep. <laughs> i had some I had friends that had that and and yeah. i spent a lot of time in the training room not necessarily because i was injured a lot in my career which i wasn't i, I did pretty well with that yep. i was lucky but uh I was friends with the trainers and like I, I was almost like going to school every day learning about yeah. certain things and yeah. how to and you know learning how to take care of it how do you manage it you know yep. even if so I could do it on my own and I think it's paid off and kudos to the trainers for putting up with my ass in the first place in there so right, right. normally I'd go in there and play Sudoku or Sudoku or however you yeah, say it right right I, right that, that puzzle USA Today and uh-huh. mess around and just yeah. get away from the media more than anything what's it like during a full baseball season brett like i know there's a lot of travel does it are you dead ass tired at the end of the sea like what what's um, it like what's so it there's a couple of different things you've seen the movie groundhog day that's yeah. that's what it's like i mean it's yep. it's uh do the same thing every single day in a different city sometimes but um it's uh i would say it something that i've always liked when you know like you're in the playoffs towards and you're gonna make the playoffs and you're pushing for that and the weather gets a little cooler Mm -hmm. when a dog a dog usually gets frisky when it gets cold out that's that's how i felt like when it got cooler so nothing hurt it's in the playoffs or anything nothing hurts wow you know the adrenaline takes over i mean i remember i would pitch the whole season and you know, probably topping 93, and then I get in the playoffs, and I'm throwing 95, 96, and I'm going, where the hell did that come from? Right, right. You, you don't know, but then the next day, like, or the day after that, I'm just a little bit more sore than I would right. usually be during the season, you yeah, know? So, yeah, yeah, So that's a that's a, uh, a learned experience for sure, but um, hmm. it's normally through the season, like, it's not like I'm giving less effort. It's just not the... I mean, a playoff atmosphere yeah. compared to a oh, regular no doubt. season game. Oh, is, same is, the NFL. I yeah. mean, it's like it's just, night and day. Yeah, the and, speed, and you know what's intensity. on the, you know, the, and you and you put that adrenaline gets kicked up probably times a hundred. Yeah, you know, if, and then the next day, you're like, man, I am a lot more sore than I was after my end of the year start. Right, and I threw the same amount of innings and the same amount of pitches, the same results, but damn, like what happened? You know? Yeah, yeah. All right, talk about the World Series. What, 2008 champs yep. Yep. with Philly? Yep. Take us in. Like what? What? I, don't, I only was, got to the FC Championship game. I cringe every time the Super Bowl was played because we got so close yep. and never made it. Yep. I always ask my uh, my friend Pete Mitchell because he played in one but lost. Right. You know, is it better to not go at all or play in one and lose? He's like, yep. no, to go to one is yeah. incredible. Right. Take us inside a World so Series. So that was an up and down year for me, actually. So. Okay. Um, I had I was the closer in 07 for the team. Right. And we had just made the playoffs for the first time, or the Phillies just made the playoffs the first time in like I don't know 15 years or something like that. I, I think it was 93. Sure. So yeah, 15 years. So so um, it was a big time for Phillies sports then for the baseball team, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So then the next year, about January, I was preparing to be the closer in the yeah. off season and everything, and they called me. January, a month probably before spring training started, was like, hey, we need to put you back in the rotation. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why? I freaking <laughs> love closing, man. Right. It was, I got to play every day. It was awesome. Or, yeah, right. or the days that I was on, you know, like I know. Oh, right. So the phone rings, I'm like, let's go. You know, like stuff like that. Instead yeah. of sitting there for four days, I'm like, I think I want to make a career change here at this point. So, right, right. So uh, so when you close, is it three innings at the most? Like No, no you, if I was a closer, I had one inning. One inning. And Come in, yeah, clean three, it up. Three outs, yeah. Get the hell out yeah. of Dodge. And I, I loved that opportunity. And then they traded for Brad Lidge, and I told our manager at the time on the phone, I'm like, I'm way better than he is. 
Yeah. I mean, of course, I'm a competitor or whatnot. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What I didn't realize is that he was going to go 40 for 40 that year. Oh, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So yeah, I was sure. wrong. Right. Um, but <clears throat> so I had to go into uh, back to starting, and, but my heart was still in closing. I was being selfish. Right. And then he had knee surgery in spring training. Brad Lidge did. And I was thinking they're going to put me back in the closer spot. Yeah. Didn't happen. So I was out there pitching and, and I was not doing well at all for the fir- first time. Oh wow! Of the season. I was, okay, I was getting, in lack of better terms, baseball terms. I was getting my titties lit, and uh, so <laughs> I've never heard that yeah, one before. So right. I had a so I had a five five two ERA, which is five runs a game. Basically, right. I was not right. doing good, and right. my headspace was not good either. Oh, oh no! I went in the wrong lane there. Yeah, we almost died. We almost died. Jeez! Oh, I missed that. That's all right. We can flip okay. around. I'll flip around. Lane. But yeah, so uh, these electric cars, they go where they want. They go where they want. All of a sudden, I was going against traffic. Yeah, what the heck's look, going on? Weird. I told you you'd be safe. Yeah. I'm, That's I'm unbelievable. But uh, yeah, so I was, my mind and heart was still into closing, man, and I couldn't get over it. Right. And uh, and that was being selfish, you know, that, you know, so it wasn't, it wasn't like a, a good right. Um, right. place to be. Too. And then, and then so. I was in Texas, and yep. I told him, I went into the manager's office after I got lit up again, right. and I told him, I was like, you got to put me back in the bullpen, man. That, like this, I am not helping the team. I'm getting, this is not good. Right. So they called me that night, I think okay. it was. How would you like that move? That was pretty that slick. Was nice. huh? Yeah, I like Thank it. you. One-handed. So they called me that night, and they said, hey, uh, and I'm going to get to your point with the World Series thing. <laughs> This is how it's it all, all good. No, this, I get this it. was my whole experience it through it. So, yeah. so they they so they called me that night and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna send you down to AAA." And I'm like, "I'm not going." I'm like, "Screw you guys! I don't have to go. I got over five years in the big leagues in, which I didn't have to go." Oh, really? Yeah. So I oh, could I told them, I could tell them no. There was two things they could do: release me or put me in the pen and just. But yeah. it, you know, I swallowed my pride. Okay. And I'm like, all right, I do need to go down, but I don't want to go. But. I, I'll go down and I'll work and and they they were they were nice enough to let me stay at home with my family cuz they were yep. leaving soon to go back to school yep. and I got to basically live stay there go get my work in at the field and then drive when I pitched to AAA or to AA okay. or to A so, cool. so wherever cool. to get my work in. Yep. yep. So and I guess the tone I said well I don't want to be down there more than 20 days. Right. So um they sent me down I did four or five starts down there. Okay. Um and I was just basically clearing my mind more than anything, I guess. Right. And, and then I came back to the big leagues. And, like, some of those starts were okay, but I wasn't, like, dominating or anything. Yeah. And all of a yeah. sudden, I come back to the big leagues, and I led the ERA in the second half of the big leagues. Oh, no kidding. Like, dominated. All right, so, you, so and I'm only asking it because I don't know. Uh, a quarterback in the NFL, it's championships, it's wins. Right. Touchdowns intercept. What 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 is it for a pitcher? Is it wins? I ah, shoot. It's is all it changed. ERA. Yeah. It's what, that what is it? Wins ERA. Now now they got wins over replay. I don't even know okay. the shit they okay. got these days. But, right. But uh, yeah, you know, I always looked at wins and ERA would be the two, the one the two for me. Okay. Um, so so anyway, I I was I think I was probably like three and eight when I went. Okay. Down, mm-hmm. and I had a five-two or five-five-two ERA. ERA, and wow. then I came back in the second half, and I lowered my ERA to four-four, and and I went eleven and eleven on oh, the wow. year. Oh okay. So okay. I went basically eight and three, and I was going seven innings almost every time. I ended up nice. going like one hundred ninety innings wow. for that year. So yeah. I, and I missed four starts, right? Which is pretty pretty good. I mean, two hundred yeah. innings in, in a yeah. year like that. Yeah, so right. I, oh yeah. So I. You know, so like I said, up and down year for me, and yep. I had no intentions of, of, of us getting to that point to where we were going to be a playoff con- contender, t- tender yeah. team, yeah. and ended up uh, in that situation and pitched my first playoff game yep. and and uh, against CC Sabathia. Oh yeah, and oh, yeah. Um, nobody remembers I threw seven innings that game Ooh. because I fouled off in two at bats, nineteen pitches off of him. And my first at bat, I drew a ten pitch walk, walk, and then Shane Victorino hit a grand slam off of him. Oh wow! 
Wow. So, so that was so, cool. so nobody knows I even pitched in Philly now because they think that of that home that walk and that home run, right? Right. right. So, then the next game I pitched against the Dodgers and I went three for three with three RBIs. Wow. And by the way, I hit 069 on that year too. So, so you could really hit too. No, I wouldn't call it that. I mean, it's pretty not sweet. that level, but that that right there, I, yep. I ended up hitting 800 in the playoffs. Wow. Which is crazy. That is crazy. And and then got to the World Series, and I'm still upset about this, and I tell people this all the time, is that <clears throat> we won the series 4-1, to one, yeah. and I was the only losing pitcher. Oh, no kidding. That pisses me off. Oh. <laughs> I, yeah. I lost game two in Tampa. Okay. I pitched yeah. well. Yep. We just didn't score, which is fine. I mean, I was going yep. against Shields, who was dominant right. that year. Right, so, right, right. Um, all right, but well, yeah, that's so fantastic. That's, that's my 2008 World Love Series it. story. Just dude. rode that roller coaster uh, right dude. into the into the sky. I was in the ground. And yep. It came out of it. It came out. That's incredible, yeah. man. Who would have thought? You probably thinking when you were sent down. I'm not. I don't know what's going to happen. No, right? no. Yeah, and I that's mean, pretty awesome. that's a lot of. Uh, Look at that skyline. Jacksonville's yeah, cool, man. I actually got it tattooed right here on my arm. Oh right. man. Um, oh, the skyline you do? Yeah. Look at that. That's so, cool. So, uh, so yeah. So that that whole year was a mess for me. Right. But I'm, I like, it's the story I try to tell kids now. That, yeah. And, and it's the old Rocky thing, man. It's like you get knocked down, but it's how many times you get back yeah, up that's type right, thing. That's right, man. You know? So you know, in life. You, I could have quit. In life, easy. I could have yeah. quit. And so yeah. yeah, you could have been like, screw you. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I wow. could have done a couple things with that. But, yeah. you know, it, 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 if you look back on it, you're I a World was Series not, champion. Yeah, but I was not yeah. helping the team at the time. And the, right. I had to, I had to stop being selfish selfish you know, that ego can get in the way sometimes that year taught me a lot so all right post career um you're a country rocker you have been yep. doing that i know you guys been have played together in a while how's that how do you like doing that and that's yeah. got to be a nice i don't know if i ever told you this i'm a lead singer in a cover band yeah you did tell called me yeah. Dabba, and we still playing i love it yeah it's nowhere near what you guys are doing but talk, talk yeah. about your uh, your music career yeah i just uh i so i was playing there's a lot of downtime as a pitcher obviously yeah you get to the field earlier and everybody usually okay. and you go get your work in and then you just sit around and wait for BP and yep. stuff like that and so our video guy in Philly was a guitar coach or teacher before he started doing the video stuff so I was picking his brain started learning some guitar stuff yeah. and yeah. towards the end of my career I was um, on the disabled list I was on DL and, and right. um, I just said bought some equipment and started writing my own stuff and, cool. and it sucked I mean, it, it was real bad. Like, I mean, you probably know this more than as much as people, but like your ear evolves over the time yeah. when you're doing it. So at yeah. that time, my ear was like, this sounds really good. Yeah. My ear now goes, I can't believe you played that for anybody. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah. Um, Isn't that funny how it, it is like that when you're singing? Yeah, so, so and I hate hearing my voice on it. So I didn't want to be the singer, and yeah. I, I just liked writing the lyrics. That okay. was the fun part for me. And then Damon yeah. Starkey, who you were worked with yeah uh, Damien did yeah. a show with Came and on the other show yeah so he he yeah. uh we wrote a song together and he's like all right get in there and sing it and I said uh, uh, <laughs> not happening buddy right so <laughs> I told him I told him no for two weeks wow and he's like you gotta come see I said nope so he tricked me one day and he said I'm having some people over man you should come over and have some beers I'm like okay he got me a little lubed up and he's like go sing there it I'm like okay go. yeah hell yeah so, you know like yeah i didn't care it that, that helps so, so yeah so you the, gotta have a buzz on stage so the first Sorry. album i, I wrote do. drunk all oh, right i sang it drunk <laughs> every song wow i sang it drunk yeah or, or well a buzz enough buzz to do it. yeah you gotta have a little buzz but you do have to be careful because you get too buzzed oh yeah you forget the words it's a mess yeah. that's a problem yeah that's that's probably the scariest thing I've ever that I've so playing and everything. Everybody asks what's the difference of yep. you know you playing and singing. Yep. Well, like I can go have like a bad outing and, and come back in four days and people are still going to show up. If I have a bad outing on the mic and it's right. terrible, they're going to be like that guy sucks. Yep. I'm never seeing that again. No, so you're right. You're that right. was in my head scares scares the hell out of me still. But yep. um, I, but at the same time you got to let it rip. Yeah. You know, I practice mean, as much as you can yeah. and then get on that stage and just. Go for funny it. Funny story about how it all started for me playing live was I was being funny and and because uh, Damon and the band was like we should play this stuff live, man. It's really yeah. good. And I, I said, uh, well, first off, I think all this stuff sucks. But <laughs> two, I'm not playing live unless I play an arena. And I was being funny. That's right. never going to happen, right? Right, right. 
shit. Two two months later, the Jacksonville Sharks called me and asked me if I wanted to play a halftime show. Oh, cool. And I go, no, it wasn't cool. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> no way. And they gave me like three or four months in advance, and all I had to do was sing two songs. Yeah. I practiced for three or four months every day just those to remember songs. the words for right. those two songs. Totally, you know? totally. Just so know. I wouldn't mess them up. And um, <laughs> and it was probably one of the hardest things I had to do to, to get over. Yeah. Once I did it, yeah. it was like, I got to do this again. Yeah. I got to do it again. Yeah. Because that adrenaline rush from playing. It's incredible. And it all kind of came out on the stage. Yep. Yeah. It's and, true. Um, it's true. And we've played some shows with Jim. With yeah. Cat, like he's put us on. And yeah. gave, gave us some opportunities yeah. in front of some big headline bands, man. Yeah. And and uh, got to meet some of the guys and everything. And, yeah. And then. So uh, cool. That, that was. Uh, and, and, you know, I took the. I took the approach of I'm gonna go out there and kick their ass every time I step yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah, you have to. The same the mentality show. I have when I'm yeah. gonna play ball, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like you're gonna you're gonna know who we are when we leave here. That's type right. Of thing, you know. Yeah, you got to though. I think you yeah. got to have that kind of attitude. All right, so four kids. Yep. Uh, wife, you've been married a long time. Four yep. kids. Uh, what age? Years, How uh, many? Twenty-two years, seven days ago. Oh, yeah. congratulations, yeah. brother! Give me I some. made it. I got twenty-five coming up next April. Oh man, so we're, right when, we're right there. That's when we got to start buying them different stuff, stuff right? <laughs> <laughs> Just stuff. Yeah. Whatever it is. That's, that's right. right. That's right. So uh, the boys uh, play baseball. Yep. Okay. So you have my, a, a girl too. Yep. My daughter's okay. uh, a junior at Florida. She's, oh, cool. She rides for the equestrian team there. Oh, no kidding! Yep, which wow. Is cool. Yeah. Wait. I'm scared to death of horses. Well, scared to death. I'm, I won't even get on one. I'm scared to death every time they show up with the feed bill at the house. <laughs> that's that's, that's I bet. terrible. I bet. <laughs> um, and then my oldest boy uh, is at University of Florida playing baseball there. Cool. He's a freshman this year. And then uh, I have a 13 and 14 year old that I'm about to start the same thing all over again that I did with my oldest boy. So yep. uh, sprinter vans are nice. Yeah, I bet they you are. Know, all that travel. A uh, nice. message to parents out there with young kids trying to make it in baseball. Ah, I mean, let them have fun for yeah, a while, let right? Them, let them be a kid, and you'll find out. The older they get, they'll tell you if they want it and if they enjoy it or not. Yep. And and, uh, and how bad they want it. Some, True. you know, not everybody's going to make it. I think I saw a thing today that we're talking about. I think Jamie Moyer actually sent it to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, who I played with, and yeah. and he's like, uh, there was like. 478,000 high school baseball players last year or something, and 8.1% oh of them played college baseball, whether D1, wow. D2, D3. Wow. And then I didn't, I, I wow. my ADD kicked in, so I didn't right. get to the major league part, but right. I guarantee that 8.1% went down to like 0. 0.5 or yeah, something like yeah, that yeah. percent, you know? So, Unbelievable. So, like, yes, can you work hard at stuff? More than anything for me, what I try to help tell my kids is yep. that, if you want to, if you work hard at something right yep. now, even if anything, we're working hard at trying to make play baseball in high school and in, and in college. Mm -hmm. And if anything, take that hard work into the next thing that you do, and just if yep. you apply yourself, and if you, you'll get results. Yep. And and that's with, no yep. matter what you do, you're gonna have results. Period. So. No doubt. Always got to work hard, man. Right. And things aren't going to always work out the no. way you want to. You just got to bounce back. Like getting back. sent Figure down in 08. You're right. right. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. All right. So Jacksonville's home, man. You're born and raised here. You're yep. from here. You're living here. Yep. Why Jacksonville? Why'd you come back here? Well, I just, I never left, really. I, I mean, I went to... I love it here. Yeah. I so do. it, it kind of gave me... It gets it gets cool in the winter. It, it's yep. hot all the time. And, and uh, you know, yep. you know, in the summers and stuff like that. So I, I just... Uh, I just never left. It's home, and yep. I, my wife was she was from Pennsylvania, so I just I said, "Hey, you want to move to Jacksonville?" And yeah. She's like, "Yeah, sure." It's the so, best. So uh, we came here, and and I haven't yep. left. Great place to raise a family. Yep. I know you're a huge Jag fan. Oh yeah. Are they pissing you off as much as they're pissing me off? It, I mean, they have on. for years because for years. <laughs> because every year you come in, you're like, "All right." All right. This okay. is it. This is the year. Yes. I know. And then I, I know. I love the draft picks that we make and stuff like that. The yep. ETNs, the Trevor Lawrence's, the Doug Peterson. I called for him because I was yeah. a Philly right. uh, I mean, yeah, Eagles fan right. too. Yeah, of course. And so I was a big fan of his too. So so I just uh, thought we were going to get it all together. And it seems like yep. it's the same problems every year. And and uh, seems like it's the O line's fault every time people blame that. And now they're getting on Trevor. And yeah. I don't know, man. I, well, the good thing is, hey, like you said, you were in the abyss in 08. They're 0-2 yep. right now. Yep. They got, what, 16 more games yep. to go. So they got to turn it around. I don't matter. I'll still and... support them. 
Oh, no doubt. Me too. But I do want them to win. It does tick me off when they don't. So of course. hopefully they can well, get. Try being a Gators fan right get... now. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. <laughs> Jeez. That is a rough one. You got it both. Both are killing yeah. you. And the Eagles lost this week. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That was a last one. I went 0 for 3. Do you, do you bet at all? Do you gamble Sometimes. Yeah. I just started. I'm doing these prop bets. It's, yeah, it's fun. I was doing that too. Ten dollars, you know, yeah. twenty bucks, something like that. Yeah, just to keep me interested. Absolutely, man. Why not? Well, Brett, this has been great, man. I re- you're my first yep. guest. I'm, I I'm riding shotgun. I'm How'd you like riding shotgun? It was pretty good until uh, you missed that turn I up there, and we almost ran turn. into traffic. I, you know, I didn't. I, why would they go inside? The car did it. We got to talk to them. It needs reprogramming. I tell you, this is a badass car. The Lyric, the electronic vehicle. This thing is it nice, is. man. You can barely hear it going. I know. I it's wasn't wild. even sure if you were driving or if it was driving. Uh, supposedly, it can drive itself. I'm not. I'm not that comfortable doing that. I got to keep my hands on the wheel. Somebody at least got for now. To. I That's feel right. More comfortable with your hands on the wheel. All right, that. brother. Where can people check you out if they want to check you out? Uh, I got social medias. Brett Myers Music. Um, Backwoods Rebel on Twitter. I'm usually writing something stupid on there to get myself in trouble. That's so, all right. Uh, I like it. You so, speak uh, your mind. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that. Why not? Baptizing uh, the gasoline, baby. Right. What a great that's title. Right. Yep. That's Absolutely. Right. All right, my man. Thanks Thank so you. much. Appreciate All right, you. that'll do it for us right here on Riding Shotgun with Tommy Mag. Brought to you by our great, great friends at Fields Cadillac. Make sure whether you want to check out an electronic vehicle or any of their, their lines of vehicles. Brett's got two of them, and they're bad to the bone. I'll tell you what, it's a great spot right here. I-295 and on Blanding, of course, down at the Outlet Malls in St. Augustine. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on Riding Shotgun. Peace.